What's up everyone, it's Pi Guy Coding here, back with another Python tutorial on CodeFights.com. Today we're going to be doing the check palindrome function, with it, which is actually um, a, a kind of fun, a fun and interesting function in my opinion. Um, so let's get right into it. So essentially, essentially if you um, know what a palindrome is, a palindrome is a word that is read both the same forwards and backwards. So for example, race car is the um, go-to palindrome usually, and because if you spell race car forward and race car backwards, it's the same thing, both race car. So um, essentially, we're given an input string, which is some um, parameter in our function, and we want to return if it's true, if that if it's a palindrome or not. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, but I think we should do it with an if else statement and using string slicing. So if we say if input string and then use these little brackets to do the um, string slicing and now if you do colon colon negative one this will actually give you the backwards version of the string and I'll show you guys that right now over here so if we have some string that's equal to hello and then we do print x with this notation we get hello backwards and so what's this what this really is doing is if you think of um these brackets as indicating where the indexes are the negative one is kind of just saying that it's going one past the zero index. So the way that indexes work is that if H has is the zero index of hello, then if you were to go one behind that, you're just going to go wrap back around back to O. So what this is doing is it's taking everything of the of the string hello and it's taking all of that but backwards because it's starting at negative one. So it's, and it's going to go this way because the negative one is on this side, as opposed to there's a bunch of different things that you can do with string slicing. So if we were to print, um, I'm getting a little off topic, but if we were to do, let's just say two and four, or let's try one and four. Let's do that. It gives us L, E-L-L, -L, because what it does is it says, okay, I'm going to go up to 1, which is E, and then we are going to stop at and not include O. So that's kind of important to know that this last number is always not included when you have this kind of notation. This just means that it's backwards. This is kind of um, interesting because it goes up to but not including the 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That O is not included, but the 1 is. So back to the function. If we have this if statement that it says if input string colon colon negative 1, because that's the backwards version of the string, equals equals the input string, then we're just going to say return true else return false. So what this is saying over here is that the backward string is equal to the forward string or the normal string, um, which is exactly what a palindrome is. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And if we run these tests over here, um, I already completed it, so that's why it showed the tests as being correct. But um, yeah, all the tests work. So we can just look at one of the tests, maybe, yep, okay, so it just returns the same thing for all of them. Click Submit, and we should get correct. Yep, okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it for this um, function. It's a pretty fun one, I think. You know, palindrome is kind of like the first thing that, um, not the first, but one of the um, more basic ones. 
we're just going to kind of go through the basic ones and then later on we'll get to the more um, difficult and challenging ones. But I just wanted to make this video so that, you know, you guys have a solution to this one. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description, not description, comment section below. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.